I'm at the furthest end of the building here in South Hall and I've come down to see Technicolor and we're going to be taking a look at their Color Assist plug-in running in Final Cut Pro 10. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, as if we've come into the booth here, uh, please tell me about the Technicolor Color Assist plugin. Welcome to NAB. We actually just launched our Final Cut 10 plugin. We're very excited about. We got a lot of demand on the website, so I'm going to show you how our tool works with Final Cut 10. Um, so you have your footage here on the timeline and you come over to um, your effects tab, you select Technicolor and drag the Cinestyle Color Assist plugin onto the clip. As soon as it's on the clip, you'll see that it's up here in this tab and what we're going to do is we're going to send the clip to Color Assist. Voila, it pops up right in our Color Assist tool. The great thing about Color Assist is you get the entire clip to work with. This is a slow motion clip but you have the entire clip that you can start color grading on. You can also bring clips through your file browser. Um, if you have an external hard drive, you can drop them right in. If you're, a lot of use case people like to use is I'm on set, I wanna, I've shot with my flat profile, but I wanna create a quick look. Sure. So I can come here, plug my camera in, and really quickly, because our tools render free and really quick, I can quickly dial in a look and even share that later. Once your footage is here, we launch our color correction tab, and I'm actually gonna change the clip because I wanna have a non-slow motion clip. I want to show you full motion video in real time to show you how quickly our tool is. This tool is great for beginning, um, beginning people to color because we say start with a look. And you'll see quickly right here with the footage playing, I can apply a look and in real time you see that our image is changing and you can immediately see what this look would look like on your footage. Our looks, you get 25 with Color Assist, are created by actual colorists that work for Technicolor Hollywood that have worked on films that you would definitely know and these looks are inspired by some of those films as well. As soon as you see a look that you like, you hit the save button. And when I hit the save button, you'll see that I have one num little number one up here and one also up here in the media bin. You can have up to nine different looks per clip and I'm going to just create two, two color compositions right now, actually. So again, real time, the clip is playing. Let's change our image here. And that's really cool, because you've got the thumbnails updating. When you hit stop, they all, they all updated. Exactly, and you'll see I drop in a new clip, and immediately it drops in. So you can get an immediate preview of what your clip will look like no need to wait again for something to render. Wherever I stop on that frame, the thumbnail will dynamically update. You can resize if you want to see. Get a closer look at your looks here. Boom. Um, another cool feature is you can, as I said earlier, you can create and add your own look. So I'm going to come on here. So you can use these as a starting point and then, uh, then adjust them and save them. Exactly. And one use case is I'm shooting a scene, maybe it's a, a sunset shot, and we're outside on the beach, and um, this is exactly how I want it to look. So this is my colors later, and we don't need because I spent maybe the time creating the look. So I can come here and call this um, sunset exterior, and this was created by me, Asif, and I hit save. You'll see that look will immediately appear here, sunset exterior, and now. I can obviously apply it to all footage that came in, or I can send that to maybe another colorist, another editor working on the project, as long as they color assist, they can drop this into their looks folder and access it as well. Okay, so you could swap grades between, between editors if, you, if you've got color assist installed. Exactly, so you can definitely start sharing. Now let's get a little bit more advanced. We started with the looks, now I'm gonna open the curves tab. We're one of the few color control tools that have actually offer you curve editing. If you, I mean, one of the things that Final Cut Pro 10 lacks is curves. I mean, you know, you just look on forums, whatever, it's always one of the things that people want in, in 10 is curves. Well, with Color Assist, you get a, a really great curve tool. Um, also in our curve tool, we give you the option to apply an inverse S-curve. So many people are shooting with the CineStyle profile on their Canon cameras. If for some reason you didn't shoot with uh, the CineStyle profile or with a different camera, you can still use Color Assist by just applying an inverse S-curve and you see I flatten the image. I'll show you one more time. 
This is what we brought it in. Now we apply the inverse S curve and now we have a nice flat image which preserves the dynamic range. And that will really allow us to tweak individual colors or really get a really fine tuned look. So once our footage, uh, once we've applied this um, inverse S curve, you could re um, black balance, re white balance many times to get footage that wasn't properly white balanced. So we offer those tools. I want to apply an auto contrast. And what I want to do is I want to make her red dress pop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the red channel and I'm just going to pull this red curve. Again, look how it's happening right in front of your eyes. I can play it and you can see in real time how we really start to throttle the red. Now I know the reds are picking up and also the highlights and midtones, so we're going to need to adjust that as well. So let's look at our next tray here, our color controls. And I think you're very familiar with three-way color correctors, your shadows, midtones. From seven, highlights. yes, definitely. Yes. May, may, maybe not in ten. We're all living with the color balls Sliders, at the moment. Sliders, right? Yeah. In ten. <laughs> So this tool, and what I love about this tool, it's really based upon Technicolor's DP light system, where by highlighting the ASD keys, you can highlight each sphere. And you can now use your touchpad or your mouse, like almost like a control surface. I love actually using the touchpad. So I can come in here and just holding down the D key, I use the touchpad, and I'm pulling out the highlights, and I'm just immediately taking out that red. But I'm actually maintaining the dress. And I'm going to pull maybe on the mid-tones, and I'll pull a little red off there off the flesh tones while I'm keeping the dress. And again, this can happen in real time, so I can play the clip and I can tweak right in front of my eyes. And you can see I really isolated that dress. No rendering again. Let's see how that looks next to our source clip. You can always drag the clip back, another clip in onto your viewer, and by hitting the Alt key, you're gonna activate the split screen mode. And what I'm gonna do actually, just so we have, I'm gonna save, perfect, okay. What I want to do is make sure that the clip on the right is no grades have been applied to it or back to the source. And you can sync the shots so you're playing the exact same moment. And then with the slider you can look, this is before, this is after. Before, after. So you can see how we made the flesh tones in the dress popped. You can even play both clips and at the same time you can color grade on the fly. I'm not sure how many people actually color grade why the clip's playing, but you can do this if you want. I don't know, sometimes when I color grade, I, I do it on a still image, and then when I actually play it, I'm disappointed with the results. So, I mean, that's quite handy doing it, um, you know, in a kind of loop playback. Exactly. You can see it happen right in front of your eyes. The, it's really great when you have, you know, scene after scene, and so you, you put the next shot for the next scene in here, and then you can make sure that if I'm shooting two sides, both sides of this camera actually work. So, so let's close that. With Color Assist, you get all the scopes and tools. You can move them, you can put them on a secondary monitor, you can resize them, make them bigger, take them where you want. Really, you can create the workspace how you want. Also, with the secondary monitor, you can um, obviously access, um, you can put your um, full screen mode, you can put your playback on the secondary monitor, so we give you that full support as well. So, just a quick refresher. We showed you looks, we showed you curves, we showed you color controls. Typically, 90% of all the content creators, filmmakers I talk to say 90 minutes, I mean, sorry, in 15 minutes, 90% of them in 15 minutes say, I learn your tool. It's that easy, it's that quick. The last feature I want to show you is what I call our key selector. I'm going to just refresh the grade that we started with earlier. And this is the, the second tray here from the bottom. And with the key selector, it allows you to isolate a color and tweak it, mute it, take it down. What I want to do with this shot here is you see my, my sky is really kind of gray and drab. And what I want to do is I really want to pop the sky and make it more blue. So I'm just using the key selector tool, little marquee tool here, and I'm picking all values that represent this color pixel value. And you can see I'm starting to pick it up in this tool here. You can see we're picking up everything that has this value. You can play with the luminance slider, the hue saturation, and throttle it a little bit more. And you can see I'm starting what color I'm picking up this key. Now I can come here, and now I'm going to say everything in that color value, I really want to make it a little bit more richer blue. And so now you can see I'm really starting to make the sky let's go even bluer. And I know I missed some spots here, so I come up with the plus sign. Let's increase our saturation a little. Maybe this is 
more of a saturation setting. So you can spend time, you know, obviously starting to work on creating a much better key. And again, this is happening all in real time. I'm not waiting for any to render. I'll give you a little bit more extreme case. My tortoise there, Huckleberry, he looks like a dinosaur. So maybe we go back to being on Mars and I tweak that sky and, and I can go crazy and, and add little pink values to it as well. So really a good use case that I hear is that you're shooting a scene that extra wore that bright red hat or that bright red shirt and you want to mute it because you have sort of a wash scene. Um, this tool will allow you to essentially isolate any color and start to work with it. Okay, so through the whole time we've been actually saving looks, have you noticed? For this shot I have three looks. I have number three, number two, and number one. Three with the pink sky, two with one of the looks we planned in the beginning. One, it's non-destructive color correction. Let me just see what we did with this shot as well. We created, I wasn't making many looks throughout the, throughout the process. Let's give this a black and white look. We hit save. Remember, you can up to nine different looks per clip. That's a little intense there, isn't it? Um, obviously, I'm just showing you some of the extreme examples here. Sure. You can go back to your host editing application, and you can back to your source clip. And what's great about our plugin is that when the clip is in here, you can also access these in your host editing platform as well. You go back to your clip on the timeline, and you'll see with the plugin, Here's the three looks I created as well. One, two, three. And so you can show your producer and say, do you like look one? Do you like look two? Do you like look three? If you have clip after clip on the timeline too, this allows you to, to sort of match shot for shot. We also, in Final Cut 10, have a slider which allows you sort of throttle the level effect as well. So you can also even do a little bit more fine tuning also on your editor tool. What's about pricing and availability? Color Assist is available right now. It's only $99. For $99, if you get the Mac version, you get all the Final Cut plugins, Final Cut 10, Final Cut 7, and Premiere. If you do get the PC version, you just get Premiere. Again, only $99. Okay, that's quite cool working on a PC with Premiere. So it'd be cross OS, cross cross platform, that would be really cool to be yeah, able to share, share grades like that. Exactly, and in fact with, with the looks or the grades you can share them across, across PC or Mac as well. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. NAB is brought to you by XFX, Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.